My name is Dr. Alice Lichtenstein from Tufts University, and we're here at the EPI NPAM American Heart Association meetings. Hi, and I'm Claire Berryman. I'm a graduate student at Penn State in Dr. Penny Chris Etherton's lab. And today I'm talking about the study, Independent Effects of 1.5 Ounces of Almonds in a Cholesterol-Lowering Diet on Cardiovascular Disease Risk Factors. So can you give us um, sort of a short synopsis of what you actually found? Yeah, so there's a lot of great studies already out there on almond consumption. And our study is a large controlled feeding trial that really adds to the evidence that's already out there. That almonds, um, a small amount, 1.5 ounces per day, the qualified health claim for um, nuts uh, given in a diet can provide cardiovascular disease benefits beyond the contributions of a cholesterol-lowering diet. We saw decreases in LDL cholesterol, um, in total cholesterol, and several of the cholesterol, total cholesterol to HDL ratio, um, LDL to HDL cholesterol ratios, um, and then we saw preservation of HDL cholesterol um, compared to the control diet. Um, okay, so um, from what I understand, the bottom line is if somebody is faced with a choice of a low-fat muffin mm -hmm. versus almonds as far as a snack, the, your, the results of your study suggest that the almonds would be a better choice. Yes, that's exactly right. As little as 250 calories per day of almonds, you can see an effect. And that's in a diet, um, if somebody's already consuming a healthy cholesterol-lowering diet that meets AHA guidelines, they can add almonds to that diet and see an additional benefit. Well, or would they be adding almonds or would be they be substituting? Because if they add almonds, it would be 250 extra calories. That's a good point, substituting. And it would be best to substitute for, you know, a high carbohydrate snack and they could isocalorically substitute the almonds in. And about how many almonds are in equivalent of 250 calories or 1.5 ounces? That's about a handful of almonds. Handful of almonds. Yep. Yep. Now, almonds are relatively high in, in fat and fiber, right. and it's the healthy fat. Mm -hmm. Do you think the effect that you saw is unique to almonds, or it's more general to most types of nuts? Um, I think that there are a lot of beneficial nutrients in all nuts. Um, the almonds specifically um, have nutrients inherent to them separately from other nuts, and then there's also research out there that's come out recently that um, maybe the calories on the label aren't actually how many calories are being absorbed by the body because of the fiber and the composition, the structure of the almond. So maybe not all of those calories are even being absorbed. And you think that may be one benefit of choosing the nuts as opposed to a refined carbohydrate food? Absolutely, for a snack. absolutely. Healthy fats and then um, some of the vitamins and minerals inherent to almonds. And do you have any specific um, compounds that you'd like to highlight? Um, I would say definitely beta cetosterol and vitamin E are really important. The monounsaturated fats and low in saturated fat, uh, low in cholesterol. So consistent with the current um, American Heart Association guidelines, moderate in fat, mm -hmm. the healthy fats, unsaturated fat, and fiber. Exactly, yeah. I think that's... Almonds fit right in. Great, yeah. I think we have the bottom line. Thank, Thank you. you.